Um, so here we are, uh, and uh, folks, folks, we are finally beating Ganon tonight. Uh, we are. Link, Link and Ostension are finally going to save the princess. It's been since March. Uh, absolutely zero princesses saved in the land of Hyrule, but it happens tonight. And we have a uh, special guest to to uh, help us along the way. It, one of many special guests we're going to have the sh on, on the show tonight on this giant size folkwise. Uh, yeah. Daisy, you want to turn it over to uh, to Derek? Yeah. So our special guest this week is is beaming in from the UK. Yeah, exactly. So that's part of the reason that we're starting early. And uh, Derek, welcome to the show. Welcome to the Thank show. You so much, for Derek Peter. Me. Derek, Thank how you. are you? Great, great. Really crisp. Um, despite how late it is here, it yeah. is 11 p.m. We're not going to keep uh, you on for too long. <laughs> it's cool. I'm I'm buckled in. I'm, um, I'm I'm ready, Derek. I'm gonna get Zelda uh Zelda loaded. Why don't you tell chat a little bit about uh who you are and what you do? Does that work for you? Yeah. Um. Well. Uh. I'm a uh independent researcher, musician, and folklorist. Um. I'm based in New England. Um. I have strong ties to Appalachia, specifically like Avery County, North Carolina. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Avery County is right on the border of Tennessee. Uh, so that what, what you could call the state of Franklin. Um, Free state of Franklin, brother. Little, yeah, I, I kind of wish that was like a real state because it, it is in my brain. Um, but yeah, I spend a lot of time uh, researching uh, child ballads, which I'll get into like later. If people don't know what a child ballad is, oh, I, I will explain. Shortly. Hopefully but, yeah. most people know. Um and also deal a lot with what I call non-singers or source singers, which is people that are not performers and have like no vocal uh, like training or performance repertoire, but nonetheless remember these old songs that were handed down uh, through the generations. Uh, so sure. I'm in England right now looking for uh, evidence of that sort of thing in like the motherland, because a lot of the ballads sung in Appalachia come from Northern England and Scotland, which yeah. is basically where I am right now. I'm in cool. York. Are you up in? Yeah. Uh, are you up in like uh, uh, like Stark territory? Are you in like Yorkshire? I'm in Yorkshire. I'm okay. in York. Uh, are you I'm in York? Like, cool. In, I am in Ebor. Yeah. So the the walls and the minster and all that amazing stuff. Nice. Um, and I'm gonna go to Scotland and spend some time in Glasgow next month. So I'm having a folk palooza. Oh, excellent! Oh, uh, yeah. My my, uh, uh, my brother used to live in Scotland. I love Scotland. What part? He lived in Edinburgh. That's where he uh, went to grad school. What did someone tell me recently? The only good thing about the about Edinburgh is the train to other parts of Scotland. <laughs> but I don't know if I believe train. that. The train station is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Derek, you yeah. can see it, okay? Yeah, I can. Uh, do you want to meet the folk singer of Hyrule, Cass? Yes. Uh, this is this is Cass. our boy. Cass, our our singer boy. Yeah, he's the the apprentice of the former co uh, court poet, and uh, nice. he he Cass has a bunch of songs that teach you about like secrets in the game. While I'm uh, while I'm dramatically riding a horse, uh, I this could be a good time to talk a little bit about. Uh, child ballads or ballads in general, because we've yeah, had what? we've had two guests that have kind of talked, uh, kind of talked uh, folk music on the stream, but I think you're the. I don't think anyone has really done ballads before you. And really? I think that that when people like talk about ballads or hear about ballads, but they don't study them, they think like a rock ballad. They think uh, they think mm. uh, living on a prayer. Yeah. Got you. Hey, listen. There's there's nothing wrong with Stairway to Heaven. Oh, not Just at all. Let's get, let's get that out of the We're gate. We're a very pro Stairway to Heaven stream as of right now. Especially Dolly's version. I feel like is like a must hear before you die. Oh, I think I've yes. heard that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, but as far as like traditional folk ballads go, um, you know, one could argue that they're as popular as like, yeah, living on a prayer or something, because almost everyone has probably heard the song Barbara Allen. Um, or, uh, I'm trying to think of another good example of a child ballad that's like made its way into popular culture. Um, 
Well, I'll, I'll say this. Um, I was talking to my friend about doing this interview yesterday on Discord, mm -hmm. um, and we were in the groovy room just, like, playing things, and he was like, oh, I have this thing for you. I heard it on TikTok, and then I found, like, the, the real thing. And it was this thing called King Orfeo, and it, apparently this girl... Um, was telling the story of this guy who'd sung in a dead language in a song. Okay. And I was like, congratulations, Kenny. You unknowingly, like, discovered a child ballad. Because um, I keep using the term child ballad, but um, this guy, Francis Child, yep. uh, cataloged 305 distinct, like, folk songs that were fairly popular in England and Scotland. And because his last name was Child, they are called child ballads. Uh, and there's 305 of them. Some of them are not really sung anymore because they were so tied to, like, court minstrels and, like, yeah, um... Sure, that makes They were sense. sung within the castle and have that practice has died out, but a lot of them were, like, popular English and Scottish, uh, tunes that were sung and collected on what they called broadsides, which were printed, uh records of these songs that were reproduced en masse and like sold on the streets so a lot of these songs are f three four five hundred years old uh and they all have a number uh so you s s as you get into the, like the ballad scholar world you start to like reference the child ballad numbers um and and some of them are really widely sung and some of them are not um like the grateful dead have done versions of child ballads. Sure. Eli Span did a bunch of child ballads. Um, so they're still kind of hanging around. I guess, help me understand the difference between just a regular ballad and a child ballad. Hmm. That's an interesting question. Um, a Is lot of songs are ballads, like... Okay, that's a really that's a really reductive and easy thing to say, but like <laughs> there were a lot of like more recent local ballads, like in North Carolina, for example, if someone got hung or murdered someone in a particularly gruesome way, um, someone might write a song about that because mm -hmm. it was like noteworthy. So like Tom Dooley, people might know the song Tom Dooley that the Kingston Trio like did a version yep. of. Yep. That was a local ballad. Um, so that's that's like a, a a very valid and concrete example of like a traditional ballad that's not that old but the child ballads are like okay so here's a really good one that everyone will know yes scarborough fair parsley yep. sage rosemary and time that was the one i was searching totally, for totally. so that's originally that was originally uh something called the elfin knight and i think it's child number two and so it's all of these impossible tasks you know make me a cambric shirt without needlework and you know, bring me a, a, a bucket from the dry well, you know, and like all these things that you are impossible to do. Uh, that got adapted by Simon and Garfunkel into uh, a very popular song. <laughs> um, but what makes the child ballads kind of special is that they're particularly old, they're particularly symbolic, um, they're particularly like it's like a certain canon at this point yeah. like it's um child really spent a lot of sweat like putting that list of 305 together and as i said some are like not really sung or some of them maybe never really had much of a melody and they were like long novels of someone would just sing them because they were getting the message across um but a lot of them were really significant like english and scotch songs that were sung fairly widely at the time and like I said, Child put a lot of sweat and effort and, like, had a lot of uncertainty about, like, what he should actually end up including in his list. Mm -hmm. um, and and spent a lot of scrutiny over, like, the sources of where those ballads came from and whether the text that he received or the melody he received was, like, what he called authentic, which means someone didn't take it and, like, edit it and tamper with it later. Like, it, it actually was just something that had been handed down for hundreds of years. Um, so even... Even, like, hundreds of years ago, the, like, origin or authenticity of these songs was, was really, like, there was a lot of scrutiny put on that. Um, so, um, I hope that answered the question somewhat. I feel like I went off on a tangent. <laughs> no, I think that makes, that makes a lot of sense. And, like, it's akin to the ATU index, right, where, that we've talked about sometimes, I think briefly on the show, of just a list mm -hmm. of motifs in fairy tales, only this is, like, the song version of that index. 
Mm-hmm. Is that a yeah. fair comparison? It, a little bit, a little bit. It, it, it Maybe more like the Grimm's fairy tales, like which have those okay. motifs, but it's there's a certain canonicity that like people learn those as, okay. a cor- as like a corpus, you know? Got it. Okay, okay. I'm getting my yeah. uh, I'm getting my armor on. Where's where's my horse riding hat? There. Hello again, buddy. <laughs> Mario says tangents are the sauce of good conversation pasta. <sighs> to which I wrote, damn, uh, here is Mario if you ain't an honorary foodway scholar. That one kind of killed me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So I'm in I'm in full screen, so I cannot see the chat. Just a full okay. disclaimer. So oh, I will, I'll read it. Like, you got a daisy for that. You got a I'll, daisy for I will, that. I will read it more in depth then. There's not tons and tons of stuff that's happening. People are just making little chit chat. Yeah. Yeah. During As your interview, should. people might be talking to you directly more. Yeah. All right, Ostension, you ready? Our all of our Great. training has led to this. Let's oh, do this, there's buddy. that fine armor again. And and the uh, oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to feed him a carrot to make him go even faster. <laughs> Very fast with carrot. There we go. Hey, you want to see some real speed? What's that age old meme that's like gas is $3 a gallon and bag of carrots is like Oh my god. A dollar, your boy's getting a horse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if only. Yes. I agree, if surely only. you can't be. This is best boy. Best boy, good boy. Best, best boy, Ascension. All right, so now, it, you know what? It ended up being good, because now it's kind of dusk in Hyrule, and we can see Ganon's castle looking ominous. Oh my god. It looks so spooky. Looks like some of the clubs I used to go to before lockdown, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Adam. Oh, dang, I miss going to clubs. Do we all miss going to clubs? I think we all miss going to clubs. <laughs> I cannot tell you the last time. Wait, February 2020. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh. I yeah. went to footwork night at a, at a dance club in DC. Oh wow! Nice. That sounds great. That sounds really good. Ben's dream says that, that she hates clubs. Rip. Ben's dream loves a cool crinkle. We decided. Yeah. We, we learned that last week. Nice. Uh, yeah, a cool crinkle. The last club I went to was actually in May. I was in Tennessee, and I ended up in a bar that was, like, jam-packed. Everyone was dancing. No masks. It was really intense. Ah! And I was like, I need to not spend so much time here. I had to throw- I, I had to throw Ostension off. Um, oh, look at my- look at the Master Sword glowing because I'm near a Guardian. I had to throw Ostension off so he wouldn't get too so hurt sick. there. Hey, Guardian, Guardian, Guardian. And skeletons being lit on fire. I didn't know you were gonna shoot me twice. Benton's dream says, "Derek, let's start a ballad club. Oh, you have absolutely. a club where you just play ballads that be fun? all the time." Um, I actually, um, if people <laughs> add me, I don't know what my hash is. Um, and direct message me. Let me figure out. I I know my hash by heart, but I don't. Just kidding. I can put I can put all your um social media links. No, I meant on Discord. If people want to oh, oh, oh. DM yeah. me, it's the digital sky hash five five zero zero. Um, I don't know if Daisy can share that somehow, I but I, I actually I actually have a ballads and balladeers server oh, that, cool. that I can add you to that I don't use as much as I should, partially because of lack of membership. So we can fix that definitely. Hey, it's hash hashtag five five zero zero. Yeah. Hey, Derek. Hey, Dom. So we have been... Well, hey, that's my Discord name. Um, <laughs> hey, Dom. <laughs> we, have been, uh, we have been conspiring behind the scenes, believe it or not. Uh, oh, yeah? For, folk, for, for people out there in, uh, in the Folkwise live chat. Yeah. Um, do you think this is a good spot uh, to bring the people our uh, special... 
our, our special performance we were talking about the other night. Oh yeah. Do you think this is a good? Do you think this yeah. is a good? A good? Uh, a good scenic vista. Yeah, let's or do it. Or whatever the that's opposite pretty, of scenic is. That's pretty good. Is. Yeah, I think this that's is pretty good. good. Let me see. Should if I, I can. should I say anything about this? This, this yeah, before I get I think tell into the people it. tell the people what this uh uh kind of what the song is and briefly uh briefly your connection with it. I know you could talk. You've done entire articles about it. Yeah, um, this is a song about someone who breaks into a castle and stabs someone. Hey, me later. <laughs> hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Um, and it's one of my favorite of the child ballads. It's number 93, because mm -hmm. I'm at the level where I use the numbers. Um, and I've recorded this song um, myself, and I've also field recorded it, other people singing it. Uh, it goes by many names, uh, but I know it as Bo Lakins. Uh, usually it's called Lambkin, but my version misses the M for some reason, and I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, shall I? Go f uh... Yes, please! Yeah, oh my go god! Go for it. Go, I'm looking for a good, uh, I think this'll, this'll work here. Go for it. Bo Lakins was a very fine mason as ever laid stone. He built a fine castle and the pay he got none. Where is the gentleman? Is he at home? He's gone down to Marion for to visit his son. Where is the lady? Is she at home? She's upstairs sleeping, said the foster to him. How will we get her down such a dark night as this? We'll stick her little baby full of needles and pins. They stick our little baby full of needles and pins. The foster she rocked and Bo Lakins he sung. While blood and tears from the cradle did run. Down come our lady not thinking any harm. Oh, Bo Lakins, he caught her in his arms. Bo Lakins, Bo Lakins, spare my life one day. I'll give you many merry goals as your horse can carry away. Bo Lakins, Bo Lakins, spare my life one hour. I'll give you daughter Bessie, my own blooming flower. You better keep your daughter Bessie for to run through the flood and scour silver basin for to catch your heart's blood. Daughter Bessie climbed up in my window so high and saw her father come riding hard by. Oh father, oh father, can you blame me? Oh, Bo Lakins has killed your lady. Oh, father, oh, father, can you blame me? Oh, Bo Lakins has killed your baby. They hung Bo Lakins to the sea gallows tree and tied the foster to the stake of standby. Everybody that in chat, everybody in chat, awesome. you, better, you better spam the emotes for that. I better see some ladders after that. Derek, that was incredible. Oh, oh my gosh. Benton's dream is I'm like ready. your new number one fan. I'm calling her out. Oh, <laughs> sweet. She's like, she's like where that. have you been? I follow you on Instagram, but I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Hell All right, yeah. great. You, you hear that, That's Link? So we have a new cool. mission. We, you, me, you, me, and Ostension have a new mission now. Yes. Except I think we're 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 special. We're saving so, the, the girl on this one. Some of the People. some of the vocabulary in that song is is a bit like obtuse, but the gist of it is um this mason builds a castle, doesn't get paid, mm -hmm. conspires with like the nurse in the castle when the lord has gone away like on business or whatever, and he's like. With like with oh, this the nurse, Lord's they call it a business trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and the nurse is like a false nurse or a foster is kind of gets smushed in my version. I think false nurse became foster. Oh sure. And he's like, um, he's like, I need to, I need my revenge. You know, the Lord didn't pay for the castle that I built him. You know, how am I gonna get the lady to come down so I can kill her? And the nurse is like, I don't know, stick the baby with needles and pins. So when the baby starts crying, the the lady comes downstairs and uh, he kills the lady. 
Um, and then the daughter's like waiting upstairs being like, this mason, you know, has killed your, your lady and baby. And somehow by like divine male justice, you know, yeah. the Lord comes home and they like magically get burned and hanged for their, uh, for their murders. Uh, not really sure how he catches them. Cause if I were like killing, if I were committing infanticide in a castle, I'd leave. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I would just get out, but what else? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, but it's it's a bit it's a bit like, um, yeah, it's it's it packs a wall of that ballad. There's a lot going on in like two and a half minutes, and it's it's my favorite ballad for sure, because uh, it's just so weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. And it's just and it's just a weird song. It just got the with the with the thunderstorm coming down. It just got super ominous here. It looks like the perfect day to do this in the game. Yeah, I I love that. Uh, in his full battle armor. Well, he's not able to come. Boy, teleport! Come on. I love the phrase "choo choo jelly." That's great. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> Which reminds me of the really inappropriate factoid that in high school, Tom York's nickname was Thomas the Wank Engine. Oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> Choo Choo Jelly. Wow. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Ben's dream. Are we allowed to ask Derek questions yet? Or yes. do we wait? No, ask them Go now. For it. Ask wait away. <laughs> Ben's stream. Anybody in the chat, if we don't get to your questions, I save them all for the Q and A portion. If we're like on something and it's like awkward to interrupt, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, put, yeah. Just put a question in there You're, at any point, if you ask and a question I will yeah. save it doesn't them. get yeah, it doesn't get answered. It'll get answered uh, uh, like during the interview. Yeah, yeah. I'm not <laughs> leaving here until every question is answered. Here is Mario. Immediately says, Derek, what's your favorite dessert? Oh my God, what a Mario question. <laughs> Mario, Mario oh, is an man. absolute treat, boy. Yeah. My favorite dessert Here we go. is he teleported with me. Good, good job, boy. It's either it's either creme brulee. Oh yes, the or, crackle or chocolate chip cheesecake. If I'm in like Ooh. my kimono and I've had too much to drink and I'm watching the gold, it'll be chocolate chip cheesecake. <laughs> I feel All right, like here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Need, here we go. You ready? Portrait of that Daisy. Oh, are we going? Are we going. Let's do this. There's there's a. Oh. Uh, it's the biggie! The big boy himself. Look at this, the birth of a star. I'm living for that organ music. Uh, yeah, it's very good. I watched a great YouTube video about like what time measure the organ music in Ocarina of Time is. Or really? Time, time measure, what's the word I'm looking for? Time signature. Signature, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's in like 17.9 or something. That's great. Hate the rain. Hate the rain. <laughs> the rain is uh, prevent ladder. Ostension, I don't know if you can. I'll see if I can spring the door from the other side, buddy, okay? Uh, oh, wait, you know what I got? You know what I got? I got this. I got one more Rivali. There we go. I've got a couple more questions that we got sent in. Some of their most, I think you can answer most of them quickly. I'm trying to like gauge if, I'm trying to gauge your answer to the questions versus like our battle, which has begun. You need oh, that like oh. envelope pressed to your forehead like the old talk show host. Oh like, my gosh, I'm yeah. Of some... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, 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 like Johnny Carson's like psychic he yeah. would do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Benton's Dream asks what your favorite ballad is and who your favorite ballad singer ever is. Ooh. Uh, Lampkin, hands down, <laughs> his favorite ballad. Yeah, that's, that's uh, what I figured. And I'm I'm really, really, really obsessed with this woman called Lena Turbofil, who I actually heard sing that ballad, uh, the version I sang yeah. first. Uh, she was recorded in 1939 for the Library of Congress. There's about three dozen recordings of her. Only two have been published so far, and I'm working on getting the bulk of the rest of them published, because she's the best ballad singer I've ever heard. Oh, um, awesome. As far as ballad singers people can, like, go listen to, um, easily. <laughs> I mean, you can find Lena Turbofil on, um, YouTube. How do you, There's not how do you much of her out Turbophil? there. Tur Turby Phil. T -U right? T-U-R-B-Y-F-I-L-L. Um, another favorite that's much more accessible is Almeda Riddle. 
And if you don't know Almeida Riddle, she was also in the intro to that movie Gummo. Oh! Have we seen Gummo? Gummo, the classic uh, Ohio movie, yeah. Daisy. Yeah, where she's like <laughs> singing about her rooster. That's Almeida Riddle. Oh my gosh. Um, but she does she does many more interesting ballads than that, and a lot of them are really beautiful. I love this like dramatic wow. piano music. Benton's dream is um, doing the the little simp face, the Aww. little like big eyes simp face. Oh like, yeah, yeah, oh. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> the face yeah. that I it's, mm -hmm. it's like I either use that or a heart or the the skull. Those are like my my top three used most used emotions. Sure, my top three are. Uh, do we want to know? We can. I mean, sure. If you would like the to share the, the question that nobody asked. Yeah. What are your top the most used emojis? Go. Um, the white heart, the like, the like beaming face with the three hearts. Oh God, you! Oh, I, I, what I use that all. Here? I use that all the time. I'm attacking you. It's a good and the one. And then the beaming face without the three hearts. So. Oh, the like. Yeah. <laughs> the so I'm usually I'm mouth. usually just pleased at whatever someone has just said. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um. Daroth asks an alternative to the dessert question. What is your least favorite dessert? Interesting. <laughs> um, probably like, um, what's the most revolt? Uh, <laughs> probably like a bag of Red Hots, honestly. Like if someone was like, here's your dessert, it's a bag of Red Hots. I'd oh my like, God. <laughs> It would be so upset. That would be such an upsetting dessert. Okay. I love okay. Red Hots. What, Are you kidding me? What? what, what do yeah, we but like think? a whole bag of them. I, I okay. love it. Like, seriously, my favorite candy. Has somebody ever said it's dessert time and then given you a candy bar, though? <laughs> yes. What? Okay. Do you? I feel like but those that, are like snacks. Is that a reference I've I don't also, get? Is that a Tuka no, Nuri reference or something? I was gonna... No, I was I'm gonna say, <laughs> but I've spent the last three months in Britain, so. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. because I feel like I feel like dessert oh. usually people like make it a meal or like it or like some like meal. something that cannot sustain a candy bar. You can have any time, yeah. anytime, anywhere. If it's really hot, okay, sure, you can you can fight me on that because it'll melt. But it has to be to me like ice cream or cake or a pie or something that is more complicated. Definitely. Right? I don't know. I feel like it would like be Creme, weird if Creme someone Roulet. was like, "Yeah, like, exa yeah exactly." Like you need a fat Dustin Glowtorch. Yeah, exactly. exactly. If some if somebody was like, "Here's dessert," and they hand you a bag of Skittles, I would be like, "I guess." I'd take that bag of Skittles and just be like, Phew. "Okay, yeah." <laughs> All right. Benton's dream gave remember. a name. Do you know Bobby McMillian or Millen? Excuse McMillian? me. McMillian. Sorry, I read. Um, hey, I'm Bobby eye. Millions. Yeah, I put I an extra actually, eye in there. I was emailing with him this afternoon, <laughs> and Doesn't he was that. one of the um, last people I saw in North Carolina before I came here. I went to his house in Silo uh, for like a special trip, and he sang me. Not only did he sing me his really long lambkin, which is like 13 minutes long, but wow. um, my friend, uh, my friend Will Ritter, was like he spent a fair amount of time with Bobby. And he was like, shoot, you should ask Bobby about these songs he composed uh, based off the text of the songs in The Lord of the Rings. So oh, he sang me his yes. melody to Galadriel's song, or the Song of the Eldemar. Yes! And I recorded him doing both of these. Um, and then we had burgers awesome. for lunch. Awesome! And then I went with Lena's granddaughter to a cemetery, I think. Oh, but I did cool. visit with Bobby like a few months ago, like not not that long ago, and he is a dear friend. I love him a lot. Like uh -huh. I really love that man. He's really important to me. She's like Ben's fangirling dream. out in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Benton's dream is like freaking out. <laughs> I did I did follow Benton's dream on Instagram. I think a few days oh, ago. Nice. Um, oh, Ben's dream was our guest from last week. Geez, look how fast and scary the clouds are moving. Whoa. I know. So a, a secret hobby of mine is um, tornadoes. I've never seen one in person, but I hope to. Oh, interesting. Um, and so I follow this guy called Pecos Hank on YouTube. <laughs> okay. 
And a lot of his sky shots look like those clouds. Oh, wow. But uh, if someone wants a really worthy YouTube channel to look up, look up Pecos Hank because he is... A lot of people get next to a tornado and film it and they start hollering and screaming and swearing, but he's like so reverential and calm and oh, that's actually really cool. amazing. And he's just, he's just the best YouTuber ever. I just linked to his channel. It sounds cool. He's amazing. And he's an animal lover and he's a musician. So what I'm like, oh, wow. This is another like wife me already. <laughs> you getting another cutscene? This must be, oh, oh God, what is this? Oh, egg. The Triforce. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Um, oh, yeah, I opened my phone to look for Benton's dream because I know I followed her on Instagram literally the other day. Let's nice. See. I would like to connect with this person. Yeah. Death um, Lord, the circle back nothing is wrong with Skittles. Oh boy. Oh, so Lindsay, you know you know Will Ritter then. Great, we have we we have a, 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 a large amount of overlap. I'm I am looking forward to connecting. Great. Oh no. The, the, we have the worst activated. Part is, the worst part is we're gonna have to save it right here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Got this big spider being to fight. It's so true. Oh my gosh! Is so I don't know anything. I'm gonna ask a silly question. Oh my lord! Look at him. This is this is the final boss. I was gonna that would thank you because I was yes. what I was gonna say. Calamity Ganon. Wow. I didn't find that a place to to cook at. All right. Well, we're out in too much trouble. Uh, now my moment has finally come. Oh no! Oh well, no, no, Daisy. All of the the ghosts of the champions are going to bombard yeah, the castle bird, now. Bird person's gonna be there. The bird person. <laughs> um, my crush's uh, little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Her big brother. This not. is like. <laughs> this is like the climax of the game. We've got uh, me. For context. <laughs> Yeah, Dom is Dr. there. Dr. Dom Tartaglia. <laughs> Fish waifu. Yeah. Uh, everyone else's wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most popular character in the game. Wow. And we're gonna save right here and have to cut to your interview. Yeah. Everybody, the suspense will be killing them, but then they'll get a great interview, so it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah, sorry to kill the vibe. It's no, cool. no, no, no. It'll be great. <laughs> Look at this. We get... Wow. Holy crap. Great. Right, thanks for doing half game. my damage, ghosts of my old friends. Yeah. Ghosts of my old comrades. Wow. He's beautiful. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna stab you with needles and pins. I hope you're ready. Yes. Needle and pin time. Let's go. Let's go, giant baby. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh my god. And... Wow. Nope, we're gonna go to an interview. We're gonna go to the interview. Yeah, we it's got just to. about an hour in. We gotta. Uh, I'm gonna table that. I'm gonna table that <laughs> for later in the show. Hi, everyone. We are back. It is, oh wow, my background matches your aqua berry blast hair, Daisy. Whoa! It's like my hair is like transmitting light into your room. I wouldn't have phrased it like is that, it, but is I like it. it. Is it 1045 yet? <laughs> the Dorito implies the existence of El Doro. So this is a cool ranch Doro. What? Yeah, you you get like a like a like a ranch dressing seasoning, and you <laughs> uh, you brush it onto a tostada, okay. and you invent El Doro. Not a bad idea. Wow, I'm gonna have to like. So I'm having a little. I'm having a cheeky Doro over here. A, che a cheeky Doro? Oh my god! <laughs> Are you Australian now? <laughs> no, it's like a cheeky like a cheeky Nando's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like having a cheeky Nando's with the lads. 
Um, this might be a lot of chewing, I now realize. <laughs> Hold on, here's my asthma stream. Um, um, I'll do. I can do Minecraft sounds over you talking. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on. I'll mute. I'll mute. I'll mute and start chewing. Do Minecraft sounds starting <laughs> okay. now. Did that work? Was that accurate? <laughs> uh, I think so. I think from uh, the little bit I'm of time sorry. I spent playing Minecraft, that sounds like I just ate a cow. Oh my god, I'm so I'm sorry, Chat. Oh my god, this is the quality. quality. You smit oh, wow, okay. Ben's dream, I got more I got more sounds where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy Day <laughs> hey, Daisy's gone. mic could handle an asthma stream, I swear. Um, we are about to get into it. But the other really cool fun thing about the rest of this stream is that we have invited all uh all of the past guests who were with us when we played Legend of Zelda initially to the stream, and currently we are joined by Daroth who was with us in in the 11 hour initial Legend of Zelda stream that is a, a secret lost episode that we just haven't posted because it's 11 fucking hours. You could, you really? could go for like two months or two months, two weeks you could watch the whole 11, th 11 yeah, you hour could watch. Breath of the Wild stream. That is true and this is the this is the origin of everything is ladders. It's and where we, we met off Stenshin, our beautiful and, boy. Yes, and we are going to be releasing that um, that official stream in a couple different chunks very soon after this and the goal for tonight is to play until we beat calamity ganon and then maybe if there's still time before midnight we'll play some gardic phone or some don't, other yeah fun don't stuff jinx me with, with don't guests. jinx me fingers crossed my dude <laughs> anyway yeah, uh, that is the same we doing? talked right over darius hey yeah hi how are you hello doing? friends and hi ladders. what and ladders. ladders welcome welcome back you were uh you were my uh, my guide in the all Saturday Zelda stream back in was that March or February? Oh my god, it was like I think it was yeah, March. Oh, March. The past times back Dom's, back yeah, like Dom, uh, Dom's descent into madness and then the, the pullback. <laughs> yes, uh, I did. I did go a little mad in Hateno Village on that stream. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah. I would like to acknowledge Huel Halfborn or TJ Smith has also entered the chat with us too. Well, Huel Halfborn's here. TJ. TJ, perfect timing. Oh, perfect timing because we're just about to press play into the into the final battle. We TJ. paused at the perfect moment. We're like facing Calamity Ganon. And now we had we had mentioned we had mentioned our eleven hours Zelda stream, and that was to get to a point where we could start cooking. When TJ Smith was our guest on like our fourth yes. or third episode or fourth episode of the show. Something like that, that yeah. That being said, everyone in the chat, uh, say hello to the executive director of the Durian Fruit Reclamation Project himself, TJ Smith. <laughs> TJ, how have you been? I've been doing pretty well. How, how about y'all? I, like I have a follow-up. I have a follow-up from your last uh, appearance on uh, on Folkwise. Did you find a tenderloin? <laughs> I did. I an interruption, interruption from tech. Oh my gosh, but I have I have a very special announcement. I've just been given a special code by Karabeka. Oh, it's happening? This is a very important announcement for everybody involved. Oh, Matt, yes. I'm, uh, Daroth, I'm so glad you can be here for this too, because this is, you're a part of this history. All right, folks, you've heard us talk about how, we're, how we got merch going. Yes, maybe, hopefully. Hopefully you've heard about this. We now officially officially are launching our very very first merch item available for purchase through bigcartel.com let me share the link it is in fact our very first horse extension as a wonderful little pin that you can purchase we are also going to be releasing over time stickers of our emotes um we are going to be releasing many things but we needed to release for this particular stream our Ostension beautiful pin that you can now get from our merch store, which is going to be on across our social media platforms. Baby Cat, let me, so I excited can, she came to oh, say Oh, hi, hello. Baby Cat. Let, I should pull that up. I should pull that up, right? Like, yeah, let's stream. pull up an image. Pull up an image of it so that people can see. No, you can't buy the cat because she was never bought. She just came into our lives. Baby Cat, um, you came into our lives. This I, so, Ostension... This ostension this is it. enamel pin. You you it's, got uh, uh, Daisy under the Folkwise account posted it in the chat. You can now yes buy the, again. the the special uh, 
the special chat only uh ostension enamel pin or at least chat this is the the the, 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 the chat uh pre-release yeah, so thank you all so much for making this show happen and contributing to it enough to feel like we can actually do merch and have it be cool and like something that people want. And Do you I remember just... Daisy and Matt when I found Ostension? I found that yes! first pack of horses. Yes. And I, yeah. And I saw him and I went, oh, oh my God, the blue and cream one. That's the one that's I want. The horse. I've been writing him ever since. And it is only fitting that we we start we started this battle by riding him to the castle. Yeah, we got him all the so, way to the gates of the castle. We yeah. got him all the way to the gates of the castle. We don't want him to die, so he can't come with us. Not again. <laughs> there. Yeah, not again. We are not not letting that happen. So. So are you well, about to thanks. go into the the room with Ganon? We like, here we go. Like, Let's right get into we it. We are in the yeah. room with Ganon. And the last thing our guest saw before his interview started was the guardians was uh, doing half of his health. It was acid rain. Daisy, yes. if you pull up Twitch, I have a very special announcement from a former uh, Zelda guest who can't be here tonight. Oh. Um, uh, Mackenzie Kwok uh, wishes us well, wishes us great success. Um, Mackenzie. She's on vacation in uh, Gerudo Village. Is that true? Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, that's she's, true. So she's on, oh my God. <laughs> she's on vacation in Gerudo Village and can't be here right now. <laughs> but... <laughs> Oh, wow, it looks like such a great, great, a hot summer vacation. Yeah, it looks wow. so, it looks so nice out. She's just getting <laughs> her life. really good there. Oh my God, who's the little cute one? She's, she's a cute yeah, little one. Okay, dang. but. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> there, there's a uh, Mackenzie's special, uh, Mackenzie's uh, special announcement for us. She wishes us well. That being said, TJ Matt, are you ready to get into this? Let's go. Are you watching, oh. you, is, you watching the stream? You seeing this? Yeah, everybody's got to click cool. watch stream in the Discord chat, and we're good to go. Let's go. Chili, steamed mushrooms. Let's well, go. I, no, I'm... I don't know. I, I eat, ate a little something. Eat something good. All I'm right, gonna, what, should, what should we eat? Like, maybe... Maybe... Do I want defense or attack? Do you not... Did you not... Did you not get durian fruit? Look at this. Look at... Uh, Mr. Executive in? Director, I did not find a place to cook them. I did not find a place to cook. It's red, it's red. I rode into the castle and said, oh, I forgot to cook those durians. And then, wouldn't you know, I didn't get a chance to eat them. <laughs> so, oh. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to eat a resolute fruit in honor of the only real gamer, Kim Striker. Uh, yeah. No, let me do who, this one. Who Max South. Be on this Max South, I'm going to have tough meat and here. seafood fry. Okay. Oh, I'm getting. Cool. Oh, getting, and I got hit right away. Great. Beautiful. I love cat, it. I'm getting cat attacked back here. Aww. Whoa. You're going to bite me. That's fun. Daisy, I'm doing the thing where you're going to have to read everything in chat. Oh, no. I, well, no, no am I good enough gamer okay. that I can... That's right. Um, tough screen? meat stuffed pumpkin sounds intriguing to people. Tough meat stuffed pumpkin? Maybe I'll have that later. Is it hot? Do I need to put on Do I need to put on hot clothes? No, you, you yeah. got the bright armor on. Leave that armor on. You need to uh, hit him with the um, uh, revenge. What's the... Oh, what's your name? Um, uh, the spiral, the shock attack, the big shock Urbosa, attack. Even, Urbosa, Urbosa's revenge. Yeah, yeah. Hit her, hit her, hit her, which is great. Whoa, Daryl just subscribed. Hey, thank you. Oh yeah, hey. great guest, right? Great, excellent guest. Incredible guest. Cool. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, can I? All right. Hey, at me. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. You can parry. Yep. Rebosa, yeah, big lady. And just start smacking. What happens if I... Can I hit him with one of these? No, this is... This, oh, you, you just... Okay. Never mind. What? No, nah, yeah, yeah. You need, you're going to need a parry or yeah, hit, hit him with the ancient oh. arrow if you got... Oh, I got... Oh, I got like 20. I'm, I'm good on ancient arrows. In his, in his glowing eye... Oh wait, this is not good. Hold on. You can't. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep, 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 yep. Ha ha ha. Do I have a shield on? Yeah. In his face? In his face? Here. What? In his face. What In am his I? Face. Okay, I, we've got a question from Death Loris that is very topical. Yes. 
Ugh. How do folks eat the pork tendy, Sammy? Is this the new Oreo debate? Like, do you nibble the exposed fried pork until it fits the bun and then consume it normally? Do you systematically eat your way through it? Oh Benton's gosh. Dream says, I agree, I must know the answer. For those who have consumed the, t the Tendi Sammy, <laughs> are you supposed to eat it? I did the eating, the the meat hanging out in the sides, like eat around and then attack it as though it were a sandwich. That's what I do, yeah. Is it like forbidden to use a fork and knife? I imagine How do that's you, okay. like if fried chicken down here where that's like against the law. <laughs> okay, okay. How big do your hands have to be to fit around the tendy but only touch the bun? I think you have to have like shack size hands, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so when, but okay, so then oh. but when you pick it up to bite, the bun falls <laughs> off? Or do you scoot the bun to the side? Oh, you just kind of like just get in there. You, just, you might get a little tenderloin on your hand. You just get a little, you just squish the tenderloin into like a shape that fits in the bun with your hand. That's right. Yep. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yep. Okay. Folks, prob problem solved. Squish them buns, everybody says. Yep. And then Joel Chappening says, shake my head. Y'all clearly ain't Hoosiers. Yeah, I know. No, from, not, from yeah. California, where we put French fries inside the burrito. That hey, did you just Del you know, Taco is is amazing for that very fact. That is exactly. why Del Taco will always be my number one fast food <laughs> yeah. taco joint because yes. you get that you get that number nine with the classic crunchy taco and then that beef burrito and you're stuffing the fries in it. That's <laughs> where. It's at. I'm cragging up because Benton's stream just said, Daisy, that's disgusting. I still got Mipha. It's I'll not. be fine. I got Mipha. It's good. Yeah, yeah you, you can do it. You can do it. Yep. Good. You're good. You're you good. can do it. You can do it. Mipha, Mipha, I'll be fine if my my boyfriend's sister is here. There you go. Benton's there stream you is go. good. Oh, that wasn't his head. You know what? You know what makes it really good? When you, when you put all the salsa also on the burrito with it. Or... You put a uh, milkshake on it too. So do Daisy, it? one of my earliest, most cherished food memories is from uh -huh. my nana taking me to Del Taco, and they used mm. to have a taco salad, right? Yes. And she would get the taco salad, and she'd eat the contents out of the tostada, and then she'd break up the tostada. And back in the day, Del Taco would have cinnamon and sugar shakers that you could oh. get. It's cinnamon Ooh. sugar tostada, and that would be our dessert. Hell yes! That's a good idea. Milkshake on a burrito? Don't, don't food shame me. It's good. It's good! Whoa. It's salty sweet. Get that parry. There you go. There you yeah. go. Get there we it. go. There we go. Beady, 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 beady. Yeah, yeah! Oh my god, you're very close. Yeah. If this you is... could get a flurry rush right now... You'd I know, be... I know. I've been trying. I've been... I beat that Lionel on stream doing a flurry rush. Yeah, this guy's just, he's just big and I was still moving. I was hard, still moving when he did that. To get up there. I was so impressed with that Lionel fight. Thank you. I fight <laughs> Lionels for fun all the time because they're by the Durians. Sure. I was like, wow, Dom's got a parry game. I like them. You like Lionels? Yeah, because they're you, cool Mifa. looking. Thank you, Mifa. Thank you, Mifa. Okay. Oh my God, Joel Chappening says, "Yo, but that beard, Kalam Gan, low key sexy." Stop Ka shit posting. Kalam, Kalam, low key sexy with it. I keep call. I keep saying Clam, Clam, Glam. Clam, Glam. Funnier. That's like. Yeah, uh, I know it doesn't make sense, but. Oh, I fucked that up. I went way too early. <laughs> oh. Do I not have a shield oh. out? Do I not? Have a What's up oh, with this? Dom. You've been. Oh, Dom. No. You've. You've been annihilated. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. You know what? No, I I did it on purpose so I could do this. I did it on purpose so I could uh, eat that that uh, banana. <laughs> eat that banana. There we go. Benton's dream says you need to bring. It says okay, this brings something up for me. Tell tell Dom to bring back the beard. Do you mean for Dom or do you mean Calamity Ganon? No, I don't. Dream. I, need, I, I had the beard for so to, long. I need to know the clarification. Uh, Benton's dream. I'm not gonna lie. When you have a beard. 
the only cosplay you can do is just guy with a beard. I can be King Robert yeah. or I can be the guy I'm trying to cosplay, but the beard version. Ask Tormund Giant's Bane in chat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, honest, honestly. Imagine having yeah. red hair and a giant beard. You get like three cosplays. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh, I have to shave for my upcoming con. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh my god. Not like a lot, but, but some shaving. Joel Chappening says he likes clean Dom. It's what it was smooth as a porpoise. Oh, the record, stiff as cardboard. I'm, is new I'm guy in the chat? Board. Smooth as a guy, porpoise, stiff as cardboard? Yeah. <laughs> new guy, you hear him? What up? So he doesn't. I can't hit him with the ancient arrows when he's glowing. That's fine. Uh, yeah. You're gonna. There we go. Herbosa. Oh. I got an Herbosa, right? Benton's dream. Do it. It's... do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Go, go. Come on, Herbosa. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Benton's dream is suggesting that you cosplay Calamity Ganon, I think. If I she cosplay said... anyone from this game, it's Sidon, and you know it. Yeah. Clam, do Clam Dom Bong hits in the chat is where is where that has been hit. Bong yeah, hits for Clam Glam. That's definitely it. Congratulations on winning the game. Um, uh, the, the, the gift from no uh, Cabin way. of the Woods. The evil has been defeated. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Uh. Nah. For everyone, for so everyone who's never played a Zelda game, the the meme is that there's the boss transforms. But yeah, he was he was normal and then he was glowy. He transformed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was like regular and then he got big. Uh oh. We should watch. We should watch. Uh, if we have a half hour, we should watch a Zelda speed run. Oh, that would be cool. See people do in a half hour what it took me months. <laughs> I, I hey, I'm down to talk about speedrunning. Speedrunning oh. is folklore. Mm -hmm. Seafood in the chat. I gotta find my seafood emotes. Emote. What's the weirdest way somebody says that? Do I say it weird? I feel like I say emote. Hey, Ostension. <gasps> Ostension. What's up, buddy? Ostension's in the chat. If you have um. Ostension's about to be your hero. Oh my god. Do I get to ride Ascension for this fight? <gasps> yeah. Hell yes! Hell yes! Emote. Or is that Emote? No, we, no, Shikaprio. We, this is pre Ostension pre release party. Oh my god, Shirley. It's it's the boy who's been in my dreams every night for a week. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go. I entrust you to weapon in the face of evil. Daisy, Daisy, it's a holy Look weapon. Don't break it. <laughs> Daisy, don't break the holy weapon. <laughs> I'm I'm making a joke about how they how they played Fire Emblem. <laughs> I, and Fire Emblem, I'm at the like final battle, and basically every one of my holy weapons is broken. <laughs> Can That's the okay. horse? See I mean, is it? <laughs> uh, you know. Don't forget to get the bow. I'm, hey, I'm don't halfway through the battle. A hybrid. What? Whoa! What did you say? Don't forget what? I said, don't forget to take up the bow. And no. you just did it. Like, you saw, so. you saw yeah. how many, you saw many, how many freaking uh, spurs Ostension has. Like, like I wouldn't run head on into battle. Look at this beauty. All right, so all right, you're gonna be looking for big, the big light up discs on the side of it. I think it's gonna show up on the other side first. But go ahead and make a lap. Let's do it. It's Ostension after all. Ostension. Doo, 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 you can actually run. You can run underneath him too. That's, that's uh, fun. that's pretty cinematic. Yep. Attack the glowy bits. It's a Zelda game. But they're all glowy bits. Oh, he is. He is a very glowy child. He's just a big glowy pig baby. I'm taking this lap a little too wide. Oh no! There we go. There you go. There you go. Oh, I did not mean to get off of Aust. But here we go. I didn't know it was going to be a long bow. I didn't nail that, did I? No. Nope. Oh, it's all okay. good. 
voice is this? Zelda. Yeah. I know, but no, I. <laughs> okay, I know it's Zelda. It's I mean, actor. I mean, who's the actor? <laughs> Zelda, Zelda, um, American ship. Oh my god, I just it's so it's so like Galadriel, right? Oh yeah, totally. That's I'm like. Like what did like, we say? What did we say? Once upon a time on the sh on the stream, uh, oh god. Zelda oh, is too, Zelda is Shinto Tolkien. Oh yeah, we did say that. I think yeah. <laughs> oh sorry, that was an ankle. Oh, I'm sorry I ran into your ankle, evil dark beast Ganon. Wow. Hey, you know, I gotta say, at least Ganon has less legs this time. Oh. Good. Good. The power, soul power of fuel. Alright, so the last couple are gonna... There's gonna be one on his stomach that's kinda fun to get. Like, uh, underneath him? Yeah. I see, I see that he's making, um... What do you call it? Uh... Yeah, you gotta, you air gotta currents. To get around. Yeah. yeah. Go! Flexi Flexitron no, says Dom, okay. Flexitron says Dom, avoid running into the big glowy thing. Okay. Very helpful. Thanks, Flax. Daisy, can you reply to that with a shitbird for me? I can, yeah. Do I get uh, arrows back? Smidge, uh... It's, it's on his back haunch. It's on his haunch. But I'm out of- I'm not limited in this fight. Okay, cool. Yeah, you got Smidge. it. There you go. There's your ankle. ankle. They're arrows of light. You no, know, it, I'm at zero arrows. I'm at zero arrows. Are you? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Snikes. Where you at, boy? Uh, don't get smudged. Oh. Do not let. Okay, if Ostension dies, I'm going to. That would get ruin up and the merch launch. Very... Yeah, I'm gonna get up and yell really loud. I'm gonna toss my headset. I'm gonna pull a. What is it? Lunchbox. Yeah, I don't have any. Hungry, hungry box. The boy. Can I use like a bomb arrow? Everybody oh, just. Shit. Go ahead. Oh, I lost it. What's going on? Why don't I have arrows? I'm getting too hype. In the arrow will work. Just you got the bow of light. That's the whole point. Dope, but check it out. I can't. I can't. Yeah, quite a different arrow. Oh, okay. Oh, I wasn't using the bow of light. I was doing that all with the fucking ancient oh, arrows and the longbow. You sound like me playing Fire Emblem. A little bit. Yeah, I was okay. So I was doing that longbow uh, ancient arrows. I didn't realize that. Oh lord. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't getting my ass kicked or nothing. <laughs> I think e I think the also fucking... said, wait, are you using the right bow? I didn't know I wasn't I didn't know the bow did not auto equip. Oh It seems like they should. It should auto equip, but alas. Okay. Um Is there like one on his back I have to hit? No, you should be Oh, there we go. Belly, your... belly, 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 yeah. belly. Belly. Yep. Yo. I gotta get closer, don't I? Yeah, you gotta get in there. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This game is great. I love it. Joel, don't be gross in our chat. This is, this is baby friendly. No! Ostension! Oh my god. Hey, no. buddy, 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 no. can you? Tom is not no! A... Whistle, whistle, whistle. I'm trying. Yours. Get at- Oh no! <laughs> do not. I'm very upset right now. Why? Do not, do not, do okay. not, do not, do not. Don't let the horse oh. get hit. <laughs> no horse death. Okay. Cannot. Where were we? Dom is, Dom is not a horseman. <laughs> oh yeah, oh I'm my god. I'm a horse god. girl. I'm more of a horse enthusiast. Yeah, BU++ plus plus is I our- I cannot tell. Censoring. I cannot tell Chat. where I am going in this fight. You, because he's spinning. You gotta get there. You go. There you go. There you go. That did it. Yes. All right. So no, maybe yes. All right. So last one is gonna be on the top of his head. I figured. You're, you're gonna have to use um, uh, uh, back your body or whatever. <laughs> oh, I have Vivaldi. I have Vivaldi. I have Vivaldi's Four Seasons. Yeah, you're gonna have to use Vivaldi's Four Seasons to propel yourself up to hit this thing. 
and use the you know use the yep. the, the uh, bullet time. Oh yes, my, my my favorite part of this game. Yep. Now do it. That's it. Go, son. <sighs> We've been waiting. That. <laughs> You know, I did not realize I was doing. I did not realize I was doing that without the bow of light the whole time. Was chat popping off about it? Yep. <laughs> also, E Sheeps was like, "You rode ostension directly under his hooves." I could not tell. He's really a monster. I could yeah. not tell. Damn. Okay, James said three times to equip it. Daisy, why didn't you read that? I told you you're gonna have to read chat. I was busy. Uh. <laughs> I, there's a lot of chat happening. You said you could do both. Oh, fuck. I apparently could I'm a, not. Yeah, bad mod, bad mod. Yeah, James did actually say that. James, you said it four yeah. times. Daisy, I'm I'm upset with you now for some reason. It can't be my fault. <laughs> yeah, actually, James did say that. There were so many. It was going so fast. I'm sorry. That is true. James said switch to the bowl of light. It doesn't auto equip. You got to equip the bowl. <laughs> Sorry, you're not using the bow of light. Daisy. <laughs> also, jump off a stension and go to the bullet of time to aim. For I, did I did that. I did that. James is the only one that wasn't shit posting, and everybody else was shit posting. I did do that. I just had to ride a stension to a safe place before I bullet timed. James, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think it's better this way. I'm so upset. <laughs> yeah. I'm, hey, Dom? it took you longer. What? It took you longer. It's good. Hey mine. Dom. Yes. I just want to say congratulations. Thank you. Aww. I feel empty inside Aww. that I didn't use the bow of light. <laughs> Dude, you did though. Off. Well, hey, guess what? After, after Ooh, this is com over, complete. You can pick up from your last save and you can do it again. Nope. I think I'm good. <laughs> so All Dom, right, y'all have a good. Night. The Lord of the Mountains. Thank home, you. I see. Hey TJ, thank you so much for being here and watching us. Uh, thank uh, you TJ. <laughs> Yeah, watching me laugh at this game and not know what's going on and watch Dom epically defeat Calamity Ganon and, and Beast Mode Ganon. Brilliant. Enjoy enjoy the final cutscene. I will. <laughs> Sounds good. See ya. It's a James said I should have just got on call. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. James, you were the only one that was offering actual advice. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the hero of Hyrule. Do you really remember me? Do you? Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're almost to the 1st of September. I'm sorry I ruined a precious moment <laughs> with my dream break. <laughs> No, I'm I'm very I'm very much considering not putting this on YouTube. I'm too ashamed. What? I'm Wait, so really? I'm so ashamed that I I cannot even it be trusted. Lasted... I cannot I'm so ashamed I cannot even be trusted to read chat. I swear. It would it would have lasted like 30 seconds though if you did if you did that. Sure, sure. Let's say let's say I was doing that. Yeah, it was, it was for the content. I, yeah. I was so excited when I thought I, I would use what I thought was the bow of light and it was a long bow. I was like, oh, hell yes. I'm so happy. Oh. I, I only want to use the, the oh, long bow. I feel bad now. I'm sorry. No. It's cool. Oh there, was a, there was like a lot of chat happening. <laughs> no, you know what, though? We can make this, we can make this one video. If it's yeah, so, like if we fine. played Zelda for yeah, two hours. Yeah, it was not. Yeah, we really didn't. I mean, you really did beat the game pretty quickly. I did not know it was going to take me a half hour to find Ganon. Like, I didn't even realize I was finding him when I got there. Yeah, it was pretty quick. The first time I played the game, after I after I left the plateau, the first thing I did is go to the castle. Yeah. And I did stumble into the Ganon fight. And oh I was my like, oh boy. god, you seriously? Like, oh. Yeah. How did you get past oh the Guardians? God. Running. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, you just didn't, ran back. <laughs> didn't fight a single thing. That's hilarious. Oh my god. That's like how I play Fire Emblem. I break all the weapons and I just, like, escape. <laughs> it's not really how you're supposed to play RPGs, but it's fine in Breath of the Wild. It's um, fine. I... Oh my Daisy, god, how do you feel about watching a speedrun? I'd be totally down. 
So, Dom. Uh, yeah, Matt, what's up? question. Yes. Do you like Breath of the Wild yet? Um, I, uh, uh, I love, uh, you know, I love Satoru, uh, Taki, Takizawa, the art director. Uh, I think it is a beautiful looking game. Yeah, it, this is a really beautiful looking game. Um, it's pretty gorgeous. I want to find the person who programmed the ragdoll physics and choke him. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had ragdoll nightmares after oh playing god. this game. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hey, I see uh, Triptalon in chat. Thank you so much for buying me this game. I've I've really been on a journey. Yeah, it's been a whole it's been a whole freaking. Oh, yeah, that game. guy's the worst. I've had <laughs> I've had I've had Daisy I've, I've had Daisy Dream Brain. The yeah. Hey, let's give a shout out to uh, Shinko Takishita and Yoko Maruda, the vegetation artists. Because yes, very good. Yeah, r maybe the best part of this very game. Good. We have talked so much about place and space with this game. Yeah. We've talked about food, all vegetation of all kinds. Place and space, game. they're your top, landscape. Top. They're your, there's your landscape modeling team, Daisy. Exactly. Oh, it's still going. Oh, there we go. Top tier team. Oh, there's I my can't... boyfriend. There's my boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Love him. Nice. Jock Shark. I love Jock that Chad Shark. I love that Chad <laughs> I love Shark. love that Chad Shark. Oh, my gosh. This is pretty sweet. This is cool. I feel like we came kind of like full circle on the stream a little bit too. Whenever we finish one of these like long, I games. think I think I came full circle on yeah. the stream because I started, uh, I started this game not knowing what I was doing and doing the wrong thing that ended up accidentally beating it, like that, uh, like yeah. that motion control puzzle where I just like flinged it in yeah, frustration it just, like, and got it in the hole, and then amazing. I and then I so made cool. it most of the way through Calamity Ganon using. Uh, yeah. like the 12 power golden bow and ancient arrows. So it's I think pretty it's cool. I mean, it just shows how something. powerful you are. Yeah. I just like, well, I just like, I do like the motion controls a lot. I think I got, I got, I got used to them and I like actually like being in bullet time and lining a shot. I think that's a lot of fun. Yeah. And fundamentally part of the Breath of the Wild design is, 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 is beating the game in different ways. So really sure. you were just applying that okay. all the way to the final boss fight. Like most people would just be like, oh, I'll use the shiny thing I got and then beat the thing with the shiny thing. And you're like, no, no, I'm going to do this Dom's way. That, okay, let's that. let's say it was that. Let's say let's say it was that. And let's say I know that it, I knew that it didn't auto connect or uh, auto equip. Yeah, it was it was it was a choice. I mean, I honestly think we would have been at a loss if it went by faster. That's fair. I mean, it was just people about were really I mean, people were really popping. It's off the top of the hour again. I mean, yeah. This is great. Oh, so, the chat wants you to do the DLC, do the expansion pack. Yeah, they I, do. How do you feel about that? I've I I <laughs> made it to well, I mean, I I did one of the expansions on stream. I got uh yeah. I, I got Master Cycle Zero on stream. Oh yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. I I haven't beaten the Sword Trials. I think that's a little too rich for my grits. Yeah. That'd be cool though. Uh... <laughs> I That's I'm excited rough. because in some ways this is great because it's kind of like you were so the only other game that we're playing that's sort of like a long a long game well I guess there's two is we still have to return someday to the Wolf Among Us and uh, then oh, don't we're we have some playing, guest booked uh, for the Wolf Among Us? Yes, or I should say tentatively booked for Wolf Among okay, Us. Okay, cool, um, cool. And then oh, we're also playing Okami, which will be great. Yes, I want uh, to get many, back to for many reasons. Yeah. And then I feel like I, now that Hades and Zelda are done, we can get into uh, uh, Okami. Um, well, and that'll be great because you can play Okami, and now that my I have Chad computer, I am you can down do, to play you can do Minecraft, Minecraft more. Yeah. And I know, and I have um, for the next couple guests, we're gonna do Zoo Tycoon, and we're gonna play the, some Jackbox games. So hey, we've got a lot of sort of like long range games that we can continue playing for stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, make make me play a, a long range game. We can alternate who streams. A long range game. <laughs> That's what I'm whatever a long whatever long game range that game you like play Breath from... of the Wild, the game where you use the golden bow to be Ganon. A long range game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. There's that, cool. there's that bird who was very rude to me, but helped me out to defeat Ganon. 
People are very excited no, about No, Joel, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to play Pokemon Showdown with you. However, Joel Chapiting and James Dalton Bell need to play Showdown together. You both yeah, are always talking about true. it. Yeah, that's true. That is so Oh, yeah, look. True. Old Man. I remember that. Old Man. I, yeah, remember Old Man? Remember when we started and there was an Old Man? Yeah. His, that, 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 that motherfucker's name was Rome. Damn. Really? Yeah, Who right? Isn't that his name? I don't remember. Yeah, he's King Rome. King Rome. And some other stuff. He's a king? <laughs> yeah? That's... He's the king. He's the he's king. Zelda's oh. He's Zelda's oh. dad. That happened. Daisy, yeah. you saw that, right? Yeah, for sure. yeah I, w I mean, I was there. Were you? <laughs> he was probably there. There's Grandpa Trace. Him, old man. old man. Old man. Was I? Uh, old age man. of... Okay, yeah, so here, uh, Triptolon says Age of Calamity. Um... Oh, his own has said Skyward Sword. Yeah. It'd be fun. You know what we should do? We should play it on like a random, like a random weekend or something. What, Age of Calamity? Yeah, like a DLC oh, on like a bonus oh, weekend Daisy, or something. Oh, Daisy, Daisy. If, if we're ever in a position where you and I can like stream a whole day together in this, like on the same couch, oh you and I need to play Age of Calamity together. Cause those oh games God. are yeah. such fun two player great. games. And you yes. and I, you and I went through this whole Zelda adventure together. We need to play Age of Calamity together. That I, I will, I will you say mean, that. You mean like, you mean like Sunday at AFS? No. No, we're gonna not be a day. No, no, like a whole yeah, like a whole yeah, day. Like a whole One day will be like, okay, okay. What if, what if I'm in Toledo for Christmas and I take the two-hour drive down <gasps> to Columbus? Oh my god! I mean, or I go up there. We'll meet meet each other. That'd be so we'll fun. We'll meet halfway uh, in scenic Findlay, Ohio, yeah. home oh of Glee. God. <laughs> god, that'd be fun. Let's do it. Zelda's waited a uh, hundred years to see me, and I like won't stop dressing like uh, a, t a, a statue. Smidgewisk wants us to come to Oregon. You know we're on we're the, the other side. We're going to Oregon for the hot tub stream. Oh look, it's my friends. Yeah. All on fire. Come to Bowling Green. Maybe. No, those are, that's not hey. like on fire. Those are like Will of the Wisps. I know. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I'm being funny, but I guess I wasn't funny enough. Just like my post about getting my degree revoked and like a bunch of people messaged me thinking it was real. <laughs> nope. Did you, did you <laughs> see that? Did you see that stream, Matt, when Daisy said Big was Chungus was a cat? No. We took their degree. We took their degree away for that one. <laughs> my degree, my de meme degree, has been revoked, and then people, <laughs> and then people were like, "Yeah, messaging me about that being real." And I said, "What do you think I did?" If I'm big, if big Chungus being a cat was a large enough offense that people thought that was a true statement. <laughs> hey, uh, chat Zelda. We I've played so much Zelda. That's it. I played so much Zelda on stream. I played like so many hours consecutively <laughs> of Zelda with you, chat. And no, not master. I'm not doing master mode. I need a break from this game. <laughs> this game is done. And uh, thank you so much for uh, coming along with us. It was, it was so much fun.